I'm in Animal Kingdom. <laughs> I just realized I walked through the gate. I'm awestruck like, immediately by you know all the trees and everything, and I, I just love that. I love trees in the parks. But I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing right now. I got here late. I didn't get here until 10 o'clock, so I missed my opportunity to get you know lightning lanes for. Uh, Pandora, uh, flight of passage. Although I kind of, I mean, it's okay, I guess. I don't know. I got a, I did get a, um, I did get one for Navi River Run. So we'll probably we'll be doing that later this afternoon. But I, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I literally don't know what I'm gonna do. I just have, I have half a mind today to just take it in a little bit. We were rushing through here on our last trip, and you know, I, I didn't get to like do a lot of this. What even am I? I don't think I even saw this. There's a bridge. I love bridges. I love waterfalls. Oh. We're just immediately going into discovery mode, I guess. Oh, that was kind of nothing. <laughs> just took you up the other side. <laughs> We're mixing in with the crowd again. Well, that was an adventure. I have no idea where I am. It is busy already this morning, isn't it? Well, I think I want to go to Africa, so we're heading left. One of the things that I didn't get to do before was the, uh, I want to see the gorillas. And if we're lucky, maybe we'll try to catch the, 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 uh, the tour, the Kilimanjaro Safari. Kilimanjaro Safari. I really enjoyed that, but I have a feeling I'm going to need Lightning Lane for that. I did buy it today. I did buy Genie Plus. It's the only day I bought it. Whoa. <laughs> That's a tamarind. Oh, he's got an itch. Oh my God, he's climbing. Go get it. So they, they built him a little house for him to like live in up there at the top. Is that his little house? Oh, there's another one up here. Way up on the perch. I hope you guys are happy. Wow. The safari. Line starts here. Look at... That's the queue for Kilimanjaro right here? Wow. Wow, you guys, seriously. <laughs> it's two hours standby for Kilimanjaro Safari. I just did a Genie Plus thing. I'm so excited that I actually did it correctly. I have Navi River Journey, not River Run, I said River Run earlier. I have Navi River Journey for two o'clock. And uh, since I booked it, I've, I've you know my hour time, whatever, has, has gone by. So I was able to book another one. So I booked Kilimanjaro for three. Actually, it, it, they booked it for two o'clock, same time as Navi. But I said, change my plan and uh, booked it, rebooked it for 3 o'clock. This is just crazy. This queue. Wow, people want to go on a safari so bad. Look at that. They have nothing. They have no way to accommodate <laughs> a queue like that. There's nothing set up for a super deep queue here at Animal Kingdom for, uh, for the safaris, which are right here. They, that's their whole, that's their regular queue right there. So th that was the expectation. But uh, demand has exceeded that quite a bit. Look at that over there. All the way over there to the, uh, what is that? The, the Husker House or the Tusker House? I don't know. And in it too, there was a bunch of switchbacks in there. Anyway, Gorilla Falls. Somewhere in this direction. Don't know where though. Oh, gorilla, I see a sign up ahead that says Gorilla Sanctuary. Gorilla Falls. Exploration trail up ahead and to the left. There's a hippo pool too. I see there's a hippo pool too. I want to see some hippos. Wow, this, <laughs> this is the whole thing. Cool. We didn't even come close to checking this out last time. I'm excited. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. He's getting some sun. Look at you. Oh, my gosh. That was adorable. And they are actually in the giraffe family. The giraffe family has two 
species in it, the giraffe and the okapi. So that's like their cousin or brother or something. And they got like zebra legs looking too. I, I, how in the world are these things related to giraffes? It's wild. Wandered next into a bird sanctuary, and they've given you this handy bird spotting guide. Let's spot some birds. And I've seen a lot of these Tavetta golden weavers flying about. Oh, oh, oh. what's that? What? Oh, <laughs> meerkats and zebras. See no zebras. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> A bridge. Yay. Wow. Is this like the gorilla habitat? Maybe where we're at? I don't know. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, people are taking pictures, so that's a good sign. And there you go. That's what we came for. I came all this way. You see this gorilla right here. Except he's uh, giving us his backside. And there he is. Oh, uh, he's having a little snack. I'm kind of low key moved by this right now. I've never seen a gorilla before. <laughs> you see them like in movies, even like the CGI gorillas are like, ah, eh, that thing was real. That's a living, breathing, having lunch gorilla who is doing gorilla things. That's cool. your breath away. I didn't feel the same weirdness this time though on the on the backwards portion. I felt like they were we were like doing some kind of, I don't know I didn't feel like that. It felt almost straightforward back uh, you know reverse direction but this time I felt the drops 
stronger that the you know the drops after the reverse portion that is a fantastic ride that is you know almost perfect for me anyway in terms of thrills and theming and you know being putting you in a in a in a time and place i mean it's beautiful it's so beautiful beautifully done it's like big thunder is for me i love the way big thunder is a combination of theming and adventure but it's got more thrills by by far than than uh big thunder does everest does by the way there's the back of the line for expedition everest all the way to nemo across the bridge <laughs> i have no idea how typical this is i imagine it's got to be posted wait time says 80 minutes but this seems like it's got to be longer than that because there's a whole queue inside there by the way really really fun queue i, I i've gone single rider both times i've ridden this but I, one of these days I'm gonna have to check out that queue, but uh, man, you really gotta want to ride Expedition Everest. I mean, you should. <laughs> That's a great ride. It's I, you know it's worth it. I waited two hours for for Tron for about you know 75 seconds of action, and I, I wasn't sorry. I wasn't going anywhere anyway. Like I came all this way for that. So I guess that's how you feel about a ride. You got to get in there. You came all this way to ride Expedition Everest. It's weird being here, and I get to have empathy. I get to experience how people visit parks. It's one of the reasons why I couldn't leave last night. Because I, I don't know when I'm coming back again. I have no idea. And I didn't want to, because I'm so accustomed to just bouncing whenever I feel like. Oh, I'm tired. I'll just go home. I'm tired. I don't want to be here right now. It's too busy. Whatever. I'll just go home and come back, you know, in a couple days. I don't want to be here either. <laughs> but when you, <laughs> but when you're here, you know, once a year or whatever, I uh, got to go for it, right? You got to go for it. <laughs> you guys are great, too. I sure hope they find a use for this show area soon. Feels like such a waste. Just been exploring for a little while, trying to find places that I haven't been. And I happened to stumble upon the Maharaja Jungle Trek where you can see monkeys and tigers. Okay. I guess this is like the, the Gorilla Falls tour. It's a, it's a self-guided walking tour. That's a Komodo dragon. Never seen one of those before either. She is a Komodo dragon. Literally motionless, not doing a dang thing. We're gonna get tigers and ruins. Cool, I love ruins. That one's ruined right there. Oh, is this the monkey? Suddenly I feel like I'm in a scene from Uncharted. There's nothing here, but it looks nice. It's really cool looking. Oh. Yeah, this is I, Uncharted 2, I think. You know, between Gorilla Falls and the Maharaja Trek, I feel like I don't even need to go on the Kilimanjaro Safari. We're getting a lot of the same type of experiences. I'm still gonna go, of course, but I mean, if you can't get that, this is this does not require any kind of fast pass or there's no queue. You just come in and walk around. It's a perfect uh, antidote or a perfect replacement for the Kilimanjaro Safari if you can't uh, get on that ride. This is great. Our guide said, keep going down the path. And that red structure there, there's a viewing area. You can see a tiger. Mm, tiger, tiger. Yep, there it is. This is so great. Mm, birdie, birdie. Wow, they're everywhere. I'm pretty sure in that building back there behind this 
birdhouse looking thing, there's a, there's a clue, an artifact that'll lead you to the lost city of gold. Completely unbothered. Oh, look at that. So I guess this is about as close as we're gonna get to the Cali Rapids. I wanna say River Run? No, <laughs> the Cali River Rapids. Lightning lanes were sold out very quickly on this one. This might be the pinnacle of my trip here, at least to Animal Kingdom. Went over to Discovery Island and ran into, ran into Kevin along the way. I, I ordered some uh, mobile order from Flame Tree Barbecue. I just, I got a mobile order and I said, like, whatever's, what, what's near me? So Flame Tree was the nearest one. It turns out to be like this, the main eatery here in Discovery Island. Lots of barbecue, etc. I got these sampler platter with cornbread and some kind of, it's a mango blue thing, frozen or a, you know, like a slushy drink, which is great. I mean, I'm looking forward to this barbecue. It's a sample, it's got it looks like uh, chicken, ribs, and uh, maybe some pulled pork. And then I started looking for tables and there's just seats everywhere. I you kept going further and further. You're like, oh gosh, this place is crowded right here up the ramp. There's some more down here and there's some more over there. And you can keep on going down the trail and go past the gorilla. And you've got this beautiful uh, array of, of you know, seating areas, multiple seating areas. The view of the, uh, uh, you know, that lagoon where they where they used to do, you know, the, the the kite show and where we just were for Expedition Everest. And Expedition Everest right behind me as we speak. And um, I'm gonna get to sit here and look out at that view and look, oh my God, I'm just, <laughs> this is gonna be so great. This is the kind of stuff I live for. This is the kind of thing I live for is just having a nice chill place like this uh, with a great view and some good food and I could just kill an hour here watching the park happen but in a peaceful way you know, not with the, the, the madness of the park you know in the middle of all that which is you know common when you go to a Disney park I love getting away and, and, and being you know kind of in a time and place this is this is a singular moment for me on this Animal Kingdom trip Gotta try some of this whole pork first. Ribs next. There's coming a sauce on there. I don't know what that is. I didn't read it on the description. <laughs> it's not sauce at all. It's from the coleslaw. <laughs> Trying the mango drink. I mean, I keep waiting for something to blow my mind, but it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's good. It's fine. It's serviceable, but it's just standard. Baked beans with the, uh, with the burn ends, I think. Standard. Last but not least, the chicken. Those birds. That might be the best part so far. You can taste the smoke. Which I love. I love the taste of smoked anything. That's pretty good. Almost forgot the cornbread. Mm. That's not bad. A little sweet. I like it. And to think I get to eat the rest of this while I enjoy this view. Get out of here. This is so great. I don't ever want to leave now. Oh, birds. Oh my. What? Whoa. Like they're making extra to these animal kingdom. Yeah, they're Our gone. Birds are down the birds are gone. The birds are gone. No two shows are the same because there's about 20 to 30 oh, birds oh, up oh, at any oh. time. Oh. And it's nice when they come down and see us, but they can go and do whatever they want. Just like Fern and Juniper were here earlier. But these birds decided to join us. Definitely snap some pictures of them. They're going to be heading off on their next adventure. Thank you all so much for joining us here today at Wink Encounters. Oh. And I was 
I'm just on my way to Pandora. I got a lightning lane for Navi River Journey. And uh, <laughs> I can't remember the name of things. It just first showed up. That was cool. That's what I love about Animal Kingdom. One of the things that I love about Animal Kingdom. You know what I love about Animal Kingdom? Talking about the uh, Flame Tree Barbecue. And just about everything else we've seen along the way. You know, you're, you're at a place where you're like, oh, this is this little thing they're doing right here is really well themed. I like this well themed thing. It's the entire park. Everywhere you go is all a single, well, not a single, you, you know, you got your Africa and your Asia and all that, and you got your Pandora. But everything within that is all just, it's just all, everything is well themed. The whole thing. The whole place. I don't know if you could say that about other parks. You certainly couldn't say that about, let's say, Hollywood Studios, obviously. But even Disneyland. Or Magic Kingdom, or Epcot. Not that they're supposed to be, but if, if that's a thing for you, if like you like to go into a place like I do and be taken somewhere, then that's 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 why it's great. That's why I love Animal Kingdom. Navi River Journey. Take a quick tour around Pandora before heading over to the uh, tour, the Kilimanjaro tour. I hopefully will make it in time. That took quite a while to get through Lightning Lane there. That was a very long line. <laughs> uh, I want to say 30 minutes probably, which is long for, for, for Lightning Lane. But anyway, we're going to do a quick lap. The standby for Navi River Journey is the same as long as the standby for Flight of Passage over two hours. I think I know where I'm going. <laughs> I thought I did. <laughs> Which reminds me, hopefully I don't embarrass myself possibly again. I'm gonna be doing another uh, walkthrough like I've done for Magic Kingdom and Epcot, a walkthrough of the entire land, acoustic style. And I just hope I don't get too lost in there. <laughs> you know, Cause I was like, well, I've been, you know, going throughout my day here, I've been trying to like, okay, I think this is the path that I'm gonna take when I, start making that trek but i mean it's it's not as it's not laid out as simply as any other park that i've ever been in it's there's a lot of there could be a lot of you know reversing course and doubling back that kind of thing but this part i think i got down i'm heading to africa right now and i think i've got this path right here this might be one of my favorite places in all of animal kingdom if only a boat would go by I don't think there's any boat traffic on this part of the river. At least not anymore. It's a duck. We've encountered civilization once again. I think the Lion King show just let out. Safari. That's the one we get to work.
So did you get And just a couple say to reminder before we enter the reserve. That is one of the biggest kind of envelope. Also this tiny black and white bird was a saddle pill stork. That is the largest kind of stork in Africa. And on to the left there is a great view of this animal. Those are some of the Nile crocodile. Wow. Those are extremely territorial animals. They are able to eat half of their body weight in a single feed. Giraffes are pretty active throughout the whole day. They will spend about 30 minutes a day napping and about 20 hours of their day eating. We have a group of some wild ducks running throughout this way. A group of wild ducks, it is called a pack. They're very active during the night. They are really tiny, but those are the most successful hunter on the whole savannah. The painted ducks have an 86% success on their hunting. To the left, we have a group of some wildebeest, and also that animal with those amazing horns are some of the Ankali cattle. Those amazing wow. horns will work as a cooling system for them. We're just gonna head around, and there's actually a graveyard of this animal coming towards the left. Bye, elephant. Look at that. Those are some of the white rhinos. White rhinos are the second largest land animal right next to the elephants. Alright, if you were able to spot something, that was probably one of the lions. Yeah, those are lions right there. If you spot a lion, let me congratulate you. The female ostrich are able to incubate about 25 eggs. Those are also one of the fastest birds in the world. I can't believe it's over. I mean, that's it. We just knocked out three days so fast. Epcot, Magic Kingdom, and Animal Kingdom. I went almost bell to bell at Magic Kingdom, I did. Well, I didn't do much at Epcot. <laughs> I did as much as I could, and I did as much as I could here today at Animal Kingdom. This, I mean, for a solo trip, I feel like I got a lot done. For me, I tend to just wander. That's how I do the parks, but I did a lot of actually parking these three days. What a great time we had. Tron was awesome. Cosmic Rewind was awesome. Animal Kingdom was awesome. I had such a good time. <sighs> so that's going to be the end of our day today and the end of our trip. I get on a plane in the morning, and uh, I'll be back home that afternoon probably still gonna do the live stream tomorrow it's Wednesday right now and then we're back in the parks who knows when I uh, hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys enjoyed our trip here and the Tron coverage and all that stay tuned for more obviously we love you guys uh, and hopefully we get to come back here soon to the Magic Kingdom Walt Disney World or maybe we go somewhere else I don't know It'd be awesome if we could right Anyway, I'm gonna walk you out here a little bit. Say goodnight. Fresh bacon and stuff. Yeah. Second thought, doing a thing. <laughs> I, have, I have yet to park up and I have yet to ride the monorail. I just took the bus from Animal Kingdom to Magic Kingdom and I'm gonna figure out a way. I don't know how yet, I'm gonna ask a cast member. I wanna ride the, the monorail through Epcot and I wanna do monorail that goes through all the resorts. Maybe we try to fit in a Skyliner trip somewhere. I don't know yet, but I'm not done. Ah, I'm so tempted. I'm right there, man. I went through back check and everything. Ah, but I can't. I got a, I got a thing to do. I gotta get on a monorail. There it is, yes. The connection to Epcot. He says it's the next stop. This is the coolest thing in the world. When I tell you that one of the reasons why I love Walt Disney World so much is because of how all the transportation works together and taking this monorail to that monorail. I just find that awesome. <laughs> like magical and amazing and just this whole, how all this connects together. It's just magnificent. And then you get to ride the monorail while you're at it. I just like the monorail, I want, you know, ride monorails, but you can do, it just, it puts everything together. It's so cool. I was looking in the wrong direction. I thought it was gonna be coming from that direction. It came from that direction. I missed filming it. Welcome to the 
going to do a little construction update while we're out there. We saw them, that was the progress of the DVC, I think it's a DVC uh, wing for the Polynesian. And we're going to get to see the construction happening at the uh, Imagination Pavilion, in Epcot, which is kind of the reason why I want to get out of this thing. But I've watched, I've watched that monorail go by so many times the other day, and it's so cool. <laughs> I wanted to be on it this time. finding new coolest things ever I, at what point I wonder will like it become more like going to Disneyland because I don't get to have those moments a lot at Disneyland I don't have a cool oh my god that's amazing I've never you know experienced this before this is maybe this is why I'm loving Walt Disney World so much I'm getting so much of that and it's just like overload just kind of constant. <laughs> and I could probably come back a few more times at least a few more times because this is probably a low a low bar like people who come to Walt Disney World a lot are like, why is David so excited about exiting the monorail into this 70s style platform with these long, long walkways to get you in the park? By the way, we're still in the bubble. So I think we're going into Epcot. Epcot. It's right there. I'm hungry. We're going to get something to eat at Epcot and then go back to the hotel. So glad I came back. I was exhausted like two hours ago. I was utterly and completely exhausted. I found new life. That monorail gave me a second win and a half. I'm heading to the Mexico Pavilion in the World Showcase, but I had to report that you can smell the smokehouse from here. We're downwind of the uh, Regal Eagle, and you can smell it from here. And it's so intoxicating. I'm not had. I'm not getting it because I had barbecue earlier today at Animal Kingdom, but it smells so good. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it. And that's farewell from Walt Disney World, guys. It's been great. Can't wait to come back. Love you guys. See you next time. First break.